I would like to continue to present other questions related to AED because for some candidates it's a quite heavy topic and I would like to present you tougher examples. In this case we have John which is platform admin and he's also a global administrator in AED and he is asked to implement a solution that meets the following criteria for all the workstations in his organization. So he needs to make sure that the workstations run on Windows 10, authentication is possible using passwords, uh, FIDO multi-factor authentication keys and login using the organization AD credentials. And so he needs to find a solution. How would you help him? What would you do he, if you were him? Either you implement hybrid AD joint devices or do you use on-prem AD joint devices or do you use AD registered devices or joint devices? I will let I will let you for a second to find the solution or you can pause the video right here because the correct answer is AD joint devices and actually you should make all devices AD joint devices to fulfill all the requirements and actually because if you join a device to Azure AD that will ensure that all authentication configurations are applied when a device requests an authentication token. Um, you shouldn't use Azure AD registered devices, so the third question, uh, the third option here, because actually registering a device with Azure AD supports the bring, uh, supposed to bring your own device option and actually you can use your personal accounts like Microsoft Outlook account to sign into these devices and access organizational resources using an associated Azure AD account and because the devices are signed in using personal accounts two-factor authentication would have to be supported by the identity provider for your personal account and so Azure AD would not be authenticating so you would not be able to use these configurations like FIDO authentication on the Azure tenant. Also, you shouldn't implement hybrid Azure AD joint devices because hybrid devices leverage your on-premises AD as your identity provider and you cannot configure AD, AD to use FIDO second factor authentication because that would require keys to be generated by AD. And so this would only be possible if AD was the identity provider for the authentication process. And also you shouldn't join the devices to an on-premises AD because this provides the ability to use AD configuration to log in and devices will never read the configurations in AD because they would reach out to on-premises AD for authentication. And so let's go now to Microsoft documentation to learn that Microsoft.com page and we're going to see for Azure AD joint devices actually what I want to do is to check for every option that is mentioned in the question to check which are the device signing options. So for Azure AD joint devices we have password, Windows Hello for Business, FIDO to security keys which is in preview. Then for Azure AD registered devices you're going to get a detailed explanation here what it is, what it can be used. But what we want to do right now is that the sign-in options are password, Windows Hello, PIN, biometric or pattern for other devices but no FIDO here and for hybrid Azure AD joint devices is the same we don't have all the options that are required for this question so the only correct answer here would be Azure AD joint devices.